see. You can't escape. No one, no one escapes the new world. Come on. No escape from that brightness. He'll never bother us here. If we survive. You will, Beth. Liz and I mean to see to it. No! No, come back! Get up! Get after them! The enemies of the new world! And they defeat! We mustn't stop now! We must. Alpha 4. Alpha 4. any further it's just too hot oh come on Liz we must make the creek before it gets much hotter you can make it why can't we go back to the caves and stay with Beth and the others or at least we'll have protection there yes but for how long come on we must keep moving oh. Simon look it's a blackbird oh. the wildlife's just dying off how oh, horrible Come on, let's get out of here. Remember when we came, the time Barry made us swim for it? You wait here, I'll go and look for it. Simon! You leave her alone! Oh. Don't be afraid. I've, I've come to help you. Oh, you don't expect me to believe that, do you? Anyway, Liz and I are going home. Away from clones and away from you, trainer. But, but this is your home. Well, surely you realize that. What's he talking about, Simon? Well, th this may be the future to you now, but one day it will be the present. Never. This is only a projection for us. Provided we can get back and stop it, none of this will happen. No, no you're wrong, Simon. It has happened. And what we built, we built together, all of us, including you. Now, you have a scientific mind. You understand. But we're not responsible for burning everything up. We must destroy the old world in order to build the new. And we've proved that we can change anything, everything. But you can't live without trees or flowers or vegetables. It's horrible. Look at it. All you want to do is to destroy. No. No. To create. We are going to build again from the very beginning, Simon. You and I, the technocrats. Oh, don't you see? You too have the chance to witness the start of a whole new world before it actually happens. You can't go back into the past, can you? Not yet. Commander Trainer, suppose he's gone. See, just as well, crafty old goat. I wouldn't trust him any further than I could. Simon, what is it? What's wrong? <gasps> oh, nothing. Nothing. You don't believe all that stuff about witnessing the start of a new world, do you? Oh, no, no, of course not. Because it's not true. Our place is back in the past, not in this, this unreal jungle. We've got to stop all this from happening. And the only way we can do that is to go back to our own time. Yes, I know that. It's just that... Oh, I just wish I knew the answer to so many questions. Oh, come on, let's get out of here. Go on, what are you waiting for? I don't know, Simon, I can't! It's not there! What do you mean, not there? I just found it, didn't I? Here, let me try. It's gone! The time barrier's gone! Oh, Simon, you don't think we're trapped in this awful future? No, it's Trainer, he's tricked us. But he can't move the time barrier. Liz, 
Do you remember when you tried to get back to me in 1940? You couldn't because you were unsure of yourself. Well, don't you see? Trainers made us undecided. That's why we can't get back. He knows. He's remembered. Liz, we are trapped in a time bubble. Madness. Absolute madness for us to let those kids go wandering off on their own again after all that's happened. Jean. Jean, they haven't gone through the time barrier again, have they? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're supposed to be the one with second sight, telepathic powers. Well, where are they, Jean? Where are Liz and Simon? I don't know, I tell you. I just don't know. I've lost them. Lost them? Frank, for the last hour, I've been staring at that clock as though it was some sort of magic machine, as though it would suddenly tell me where to look for them. It's no good. Frank, don't you understand? I can only reach them if they're in the past or the present. You mean you think they've gone into the future again? Yes, where I can't reach them. I've just got to rest. We've got to keep going, Liz. What's the use in just sitting around waiting to be burnt to pieces by the sun? Well, in a few hours, the whole jungle may be burnt to a cinder. And we've got to reach those caves. What's the use? We're never going to get home now. And I don't start talking like that. Of course we're going to get home. But we've got to be practical. We need protection from the sun. Everything's dying, just fading away. It's the end of the world. Trainer's exciting new world. Even the soil, it's so dry, it's beginning to crack. How long will it be before the whole earth falls apart? What can you expect after interfering with nature and diverting rivers? It's probably caused a seismological disturbance beneath the earth's crust. I shouldn't be surprised if England doesn't have an earthquake soon. Oh, I hate this place. I hate it. There's destruction all round us. Oh, Simon, I want to go home. Shh. What is it? I don't know. Keep down. Where's the trainer? Or the clothes? No, no, I can't see. Keep your head down. What on earth are you two doing here? Beth! Under trainer, what are you doing here? Mrs. Skinner, I wonder if you could spare me a few minutes. I've already told you several times on the telephone, Commander, there's no point in your coming here anymore. My business is official. Thank you. Liz and Simon have disappeared again. They went out together hours ago and we haven't seen them since. Yes, Trainer, and it's all thanks to you. Oh, what are you suggesting now, Skinner? That I've kidnapped them or something? Ever since they came back from that ice box, you've been trying to pump them for information. It's time you left them alone. I assure you, Skinner, my only purpose in coming here is to try to clarify my position with Simon. Oh, come on, trainer. Who are you trying to kid? You know as well as I do, it was you who persuaded them to go back through the time barrier. They've gone back. But I warned that boy to keep away from the time barrier. He's deliberately disobeyed my instructions. You, you must know where they are. Now, Tell look me. here, trainer. I will not allow them to interfere with the future. Do you understand me? I will not allow it. You've got to go back. You don't belong here. Of course we've got to go back. You don't think I want to stay in this place, do you? If this is what England's going to be like in the future, you could keep it. It's all my fault, really. If only I hadn't had doubts about wanting to go back home. But I still don't see how Trainer persuaded you to want to stay here. Look around you. Who in his right mind would want to stay here? Well, we only have ourselves to blame, Beth. Trainer talked us into believing that, well, that the burn-up was necessary. And if we went back to our own time now, we'd miss the beginning of, of a fantastic new world. A world that would one day be our future. You and your scientific mind, you're just like Trainer and the rest of them. You think you know all the answers, but you don't. What did you do that for? Isn't there enough destruction all around us without you adding to it? Now, come on, both of you. It's not going to help any of us getting on each other's nerves. What we've got to do is try and find a way home for you. Yes, but how? Well, perhaps if you tried the time barrier now, it might work. 
no, it's too late. The damage has been done. What we've really got to do is try and find a way of clearing our minds so we can start all over again. In other words, we need the world to return. And that means both of us. Mrs Skinner, you must be able to contact Liz. I can't. But you've always been able to sense where she was. But that's what makes it such agony. That's why I feel so lost. Until now, I, I've always known where she was at one time or another. I mean, if anything was wrong, I knew it because I, I could just feel it. That's why it's such a terrible shock when all of a sudden I can't make contact and I don't know what's happening. If only Simon had listened to my warning. Well, let me warn you, trainer. If those kids aren't back here soon, the first person I shall go to is your superior, Colonel Murray. Well, that, my dear Skinner, is your privilege. Simon, it's impossible. Just because my mother has second sight doesn't mean to say I've inherited it. But at least it's worth a try, Beth. If you could give us the will to return, a chance to clear our minds of all the doubts the train raised, perhaps it'll bring back the time barrier. Don't forget, Beth, when we're in the future, your mother can't help us. But if I've inherited my mother's telepathic powers, why hasn't Liz? We're the same person. Why can't you understand? We're in a different time phase. You're a projection of my future. You see, Beth, Liz can't help herself in a time phase which is not her own. Well, neither can I. We need outside help. Your help. All right. I'll try. What do you want me to do? Simon, please, in a few hours, this whole jungle will be a furnace. It's no good. I can't see anything. Oh, look, try, Beth. Try as hard as you can. There's nothing out there. Only jungle. I want to see, but I can't. Oh, Beth, please hurry. No, Simon, there's nothing. I want to help you. I just can't. Oh, Simon, what are we going to do? We're never going to No, go wait. Beth! There is something. There's someone. A woman. But I can't see her very clearly. Who is it, Beth? Who is it? There's a force trying to pull me forward. No. It's you she wants, Liz. Mummy! Yes. You've got to go home, Liz. She needs you. Simon, you've got to take Liz home. We're depending on you, all of us. Simon! <gasps> Come on, Liz, we must find it now. You won't find your destiny there, boy. This is where you belong, and this is where you'll stay. The time barrier's here. Too late, trainer. We're going home. Go on, Beth, if you hurry. No, but I don't want to leave you. Go on, Liz. They can't harm me. I'm only what your future could be. It's up to you and Simon to see that none of this happens. Come on, Liz, hurry. <laughs> Changing everything. Diverting rivers, melting the polar ice cap. Turning England into a tropical jungle. Oh, look, I know it sounds fantastic, Mr Skinner, but I promise you it is true. 
Well, within a few days, maybe a few hours, the whole surface of the Earth could be scorched. By now, it's probably all over. What I don't understand is you... You've only been missing from here a couple of days, and, and yet you've experienced about six weeks. Well, I suppose it's rather like having a dream. Well, it seems to take ages, but in measured time, it's just a few minutes. She's sleeping. Oh, thank the Lord for that. Don't you ever take Liz through the barrier again, do you hear me, Simon? No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. You mustn't blame Simon. Liz wanted to go back through the time barrier just as much as he did, she told me. Simon, I know you've had a bad time, but there's just one thing I have to know. Commander Trainer told us that he gave you strict instructions not to go back through the time barrier. Is that true? Oh, yes, it's true, all right. No wonder after what we found out. Well, you mean you saw Commander Trainer in the future, in, in, in this jungle? We saw him. The sort of man he could become if we let him. A mean, ambitious man who could have been responsible for the destruction of the whole world. The technological world where people just didn't matter anymore. Where everyone was taught not to think for himself. Well, the trainer of the future wants to burn up the old world so he can start a new one. It's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. It's worse than that, Mrs Skinner. If you could have seen that jungle being burnt to pieces by the sun, then you'd know we've just got to stop it. We can't let it happen. Not like that. We have a duty you to... You let the future take care of itself, young man. First thing tomorrow morning, you're going back home to your father. Home? From now on, there'll be no more trips through the time barrier, past or future. <coughs> Liz! What is it? It's nothing, just a, a nightmare. There, you see what happens. The sooner you get back home, the better. No, Mummy, it wasn't a nightmare. It wasn't. They were coming towards me, staring at me. Oh, you've got to believe me, Mummy. You've just got to. Liz, it was a nightmare, darling. That's all. I'll get it. Oh, don't let him sit Simon home, Mummy, please. I know Daddy doesn't like Simon and me going off together, but I like Simon. We've got a sort of understanding. After all, I'm not a baby anymore, am I, Mummy? You understand that, don't you? You mustn't blame Daddy, darling. He loves you very much, you know. It's just that, well, he doesn't want any harm to come to you. He doesn't want you to grow up before you have to. But don't worry. You'll see Simon again, I promise. A nightmare. Well, it's hardly surprising, really, is it? When you step out of one time phase into another, there's bound to be some sort of lasting effect. Still, at least you have them home, safe and sound. And that's where I intend to keep them from now on. Just you remember that. Commander Trey. Ah, oh, my dear Mrs. Skinner. All's well that ends well, eh? So, where are these two young rascals? I'm sure they've got some... Fascinating things to tell us about the future, haven't they? I tell you, I'm not going in there, Simon. That's Trainer's voice. Oh, don't be silly, Liz. It's not the same Trainer as we left behind in the jungle. That was only a projection. Well, this one's quite harmless. Now, come on. I don't care. It was him I saw in the mirror, staring at me from behind those bushes in the jungle. It was the Trainer of the future that you saw. A future that isn't going to exist as long as we prevent it. Now, come on. Liz, darling. Ah, there you are. Welcome home.
dear. I wonder if you'd like to... Liz? Darling Mummy, I'm sorry, but I had to go. It's Beth. I saw her in the mirror and I know she needs me. Please don't let Daddy get too upset. I'll be back soon. Love, Liz. Frank. Frank, look at this. What are we going to do? Well, I'm going to phone Simon. Simon? Probably gone with her. Well, let's at least find out. Uh, hello, hello, Simon. Oh, it's uh, it's Mr. Skinner here. It, it, it's about Liz. Could you come back here right away, please? Yes, yes, I I, I know I did, but we need your help now. gone through the time barrier. She, she hasn't. No. Mr. Skinner told me on the yes, phone. I, I know what he told you, but I saw her. I saw her standing in the old ministry field by the time barrier, but she didn't go through. Something stopped her. You've been very foolish, Liz. Very foolish indeed. But now you must learn not to interfere. Keep out of the future, Liz. Do you understand? Keep out of the future. <laughs> 